The tickets pile up, but the drivers don't pay up. And now Kansas City says it's revving up enforcement to catch the top parking offenders. Investigator Ryan Kath first uncovered the problem two years ago, and he's live downtown now to explain how the city's finally cracking down to collect all that money. Hey there, Krista. We're here at 12th and Grand, especially in this area of downtown. We found drivers who ignore stacks of parking tickets and seem to get away with it. But the city is now saying that free ride is about to expire. On 11th and Grand in downtown Kansas City, we weren't surprised to see this Dodge Avenger parked at an expired meter. Is this your car? And then we caught up with the driver, Ty Johnson. You're right on the top of the list for the city of most parking tickets. I don't have that many parking tickets. What are you talking about? You got about 40 unpaid parking tickets. No. No. Okay, to be fair, it's 38 tickets. We checked them out and saw Ty's Dodge keeps getting tagged in this one square block outside her downtown apartment. You're going to have high rise and high loss down here. You need to have a parking space for them. There's nowhere to park if you live in the building here. No, you got to walk damn near three blocks down. Ty is just one out of hundreds of Kansas City drivers with a list of excuses almost as long as their unpaid tickets. The 41 Action News investigators found more than 2,400 people have three or more parking warrants. That's thousands in taxpayer revenue uncollected. And it's not a new problem. We need to talk to you. About? Parking tickets. Yes, I live downtown and I have lots of them. We noticed. 41 Action News first tracked down the city's top offenders in 2012. To you, does it seem like anything's changed? Nothing's changed. In fact, it's, it's, it's gotten worse. Downtown attorney Dick Bryant can't believe with today's police technology of laptops and license plate readers, drivers keep getting tickets on windshields instead of more serious consequences. The second or third time, they should know it's time to tow them or to boot them or do something. The city says that's about to change. Coming soon, a letter to all the people on that list we showed you warning them to pay up or else. What do you think about that idea? They're not going to pay. If they were going to pay, they would have paid tickets one through 59. It's a waste of resources, and, and that really is a waste of money. We pose that question to Sean Demery with the city's Public Works Department. Ultimately, it is never a waste of city resources to inform people how to do the right thing. Some people might say, okay, if you've got 40 tickets piled up at home, what's going to make you respond to a letter? Well, that is the point at which it's enforcement. That enforcement technique is still being decided, and the city says it wants to double and triple check the list before the crackdown. People say, well, you know, why do you have so many parking tickets? I say, well, just because I park where I want. If anyone has parking war stories to tell, it's Aaron Wendell. Excuse me, Aaron. Featured in our original investigation. We're working on a story about unpaid parking tickets. Okay. We've got you on the top of the list. On the top of the list again, huh? Again. Aaron now makes light of his notoriety, joking that he recently lost his championship streak. How many do I need for first place? <laughs> <laughs> but on a serious note, the reformed scofflaw doesn't think his name should be anywhere on the list. He says it's been years since he got a parking ticket, and the ones on the books date back to 2007 and 2008. Aaron says he had to settle those up after the city impounded his car six years ago. I walked out of there with, uh, with about a 70-foot-long receipt that said I had paid. His attorney vouches for the story, saying he spent several hours at municipal court to help clean the slate. It makes me question how accurate the records would be. So that's the vehicle. I take downtown now. <laughs> so with that legal uncertainty, Aaron decided to play it safe, and he bought this school bus. I got this because I heard that they were going to start towing people with three or more parking tickets. So uh, I went ahead and bought this because I figured that they're not going to tow this, and uh, they're not going to put a boot on it. Kind of sounds like a dare, huh? Let the parking war begin. Court officials tell me they're looking into Aaron's claim about whether or not those tickets should still be on the books. And just in case you're curious about who's currently in first place, that would be a woman with, get this, 73 unpaid parking tickets. We're live downtown. Ryan Kath, 41 Action News.